Hey, welcome back everyone to Sellers Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we go through the 2003 Ford Taurus Serpentine Belt Replacement. It's gonna be a good one, so stay tuned, guys. As I said, today we're going through the Serpentine Belt Replacement on the 2003 Ford Taurus. Even though I have another similar video uh, going through the belt diagram of the Serpentine Belt, I'm going to show you on here what you're actually looking for, why you're replacing the Serpentine Belt, and how easy it is to replace the Serpentine Belt. Now, a lot of uh, shops, they're going to charge you in between $89 and $109 to replace your serpentine belt. Now, of course, uh, or say about 90% of that is labor cost for it. Uh, they, they think that it takes a long time to replace a serpentine belt. It does not. It takes you about 10 minutes, okay, uh, if you have the belt diagram. And that's why I did the, the video on the belt diagram so you have that. Uh, on the serpentine belt, you're looking for any cracks, dry rot, um, missing uh, grooves, anything like that. That all comes from wear and tear. So don't think because you have that, that something's wrong with your vehicle. It's not. That serpentine belt is going very quickly and is powering your entire engine. Now, it's made of rubber, okay? So rubber is, you know, rubber components. Are going to dry rot over time that's just something that happens now um ford actually put out a replacement interval of around a hundred thousand miles is when you'll need a new serpentine belt so definitely look for that if you are coming up on a hundred thousand miles it's definitely time you know to actually be looking at that serpentine belt and uh, just start pricing one out if you are looking for one and want to know how much it costs I put the link for you in the description down below with the serpentine belt, the serpentine belt tool. Uh, that way you can make quick work of it. Now, um, of course, my Taurus, uh, yeah, the serpentine belt is not the best tool for it because uh, somebody tried taking it off with the wrong size when I had rounded off a couple edges of the bolt. So I have to use a closed in. Uh, wrench so no problem you know that's fine uh, <clears throat> serpentine belts do stretch out guys so if you're getting that squealing uh, from your engine when you start it up that could be a possibility and source of the uh, the squealing uh, it could also be a bad bearing in a pulley as well so <laughs> I always love when people go on there and they'll spray WD-40 and say, you know what, it's good, it's all fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sound's gone, the sound's gone, but the problem persists. Um, that's like uh, going to the doctor and the doctor saying, you know what, here's some Advil, go home, uh, try to sleep it off. No. That's a temporary fix, okay? Just like spraying it with WD-40, that's a temporary fix as well, okay? Um, most of the time though, it's a bearing or it's the serpentine bell is time for replacement because it does stretch out, okay? Now the, the tool you're gonna need uh, to do this repair is a 15 millimeter. Now, as I said, you can use the serpentine belt tool which is right here I love this tool it makes it very simple and um, unfortunately I cannot use it on this uh, due to the bolt now um, an engine light will come up um, other indications uh, a, lot, a lot of your engine will, will start lacking power your uh, air conditioning will start weakening and um, your power steering will uh, come in and out. If you are looking uh, to check out a power steering video and the replacement of your power steering pump, I'm gonna throw the link up, up in the upper right hand corner of uh, the power steering uh, pump replacement video that is uh, that I completed. 
completed as well for you. So, all right, let's get in there. All right, so here we are, uh, right on the serpentine belt side of the engine. Uh, we're gonna make this pretty easy for ourselves. Uh, first of all, guys, if this video is beneficial to you, please make sure you hit the subscribe down below, smash the like button, and uh, if you have any questions about anything on the repair, make sure you hit me up in the comment section down below. I love actually answering your guys' comments and uh, questions when they, they do come up. So, hey, supporting the channel, I love just seeing someone subscribe to the channel. It means I'm doing a, a good job with the videos and you guys are finding them beneficial. So, makes me feel good. All right, so we're gonna make it easy on ourselves. I got some needle nose pliers. I gotta take this uh, side apart anyways, but to get this serpentine belt, usually you just take your 15 millimeter and uh, if, if you're not using a serpentine belt tool, take your 15 millimeter, take your, you know, another wrench, double stack them just like that. You guys see that? Okay. And you're just gonna put it on the bolt and move it. Okay, I'll show you that in just a second. But really easy way to actually access it instead of fighting it all the way down and seeing how the hell you're gonna actually access it and then dropping your wrench a million times and, you know, chasing back and forth to get your magnet and everything take some needle nose pliers take these hoses off your coolant reservoir okay yes if it is full that sucks you know uh, don't do it then okay <laughs> don't take your coolant reservoir off you know but if your uh, coolant's already low and you need to switch it out anyways hey take it off and uh, make your life easier you know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, you got the two coolant lines here at the top, and you got coolant line, which goes to your radiator here at the bottom. Okay, just get that puppy off. She is a big one. But uh, this will make it a little bit easier. If you do have the, the serpentine belt tool and your bolt's not messed up, then use... <laughs> Use the uh, the serpentine belt tool and make your life a little bit easier. One second. I'm going to grab a flathead. There we go. Flathead, pry bar, whatever. And right, what's happening is you got a seal on this, uh, this line. And these rubber lines can be uh, quite fun to take off sometimes, but... As I said, I have to, I have to have it off anyways. This, uh, this torus is giving me problems all over again, and you know, it's crazy when someone says, "Hey, this is a, uh, this is what I like doing with my time." You no, know, uh, I fight mechanical problems. All right, coolant tanks off. So get that out of the way. Get the 14 and the 15 millimeter. I'm gonna put the 15 right on there with the close end. Okay. As I said, the thing's a little, a little messed up. All right. Let's go ahead. Move it out of the way. There we go. All right. You're gonna bring it to the right. You know what? Let me bring you guys over here, huh? Check this out. There we go. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the spot. All right, you guys see okay now? All right. So we're going to take the 14 and the 15 millimeter right there. And we're going to take it and we're going to go to the right. Okay. You see how the, the belt loosens. All right. And your tensioner moves to the left. All you're going to do now. Ooh, let me reset that before it pops on me. There we go. All right. You want to make sure that that's actually, pro you know, seated nicely on there. But um, go ahead and just take it right off that that 
smooth roller right there, and that's it. Okay, now you got that out, move your wrenches over to the side, and you're just gonna slowly take it off the rest of these pulleys. Okay, yes, some of it you can't reach, so this pry bar is going to uh, come in handy because you just take the pry bar and slowly work it off all of them. Okay, the guys, right in the upper right hand corner, upper right hand corner, that corner right there, my left, your right. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the link to the 2003 Ford Tours belt diagram video so you guys know how to throw it back on and actually have that diagram. For some reason, I looked all over this car and uh, Ford didn't want you to know the uh, the diagram, I guess. You know, uh, they just decided not to put it on the car. So thank you, Ford, for that. You, know, uh, you make all of our lives great. And uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of this belt off. Looks like we're stuck around that bottom crank uh, pulley. And it wants to, wants to get caught right here. There we go. All right. Belt is out, guys. And there you go. Your serpentine belt is now out of your 2003 Ford Taurus. Now this does work for all 2000 to 2007 Ford Tauruses. This is the 3.0 V6 in the Ford Taurus. And um, man, that's it. You know, I'm gonna throw the, the link for the belt diagram. Belt diagram. Mm, that's weird. Can't talk this morning. Uh, belt, belt diagram. And uh, in the upper right hand corner, Again, if you found the video to be beneficial uh, to your problem in removing your serpentine belt, hey, make sure you hit subscribe, smash the like button. It always shows me a little love. So thank you so much, guys. And until next time, keep on wrenching, guys. Take care.